Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix error code 43 if your USB device is not recognized. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. So assuming that you're receiving this specific error code, we're going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too many problems. So we're going to start by heading over and opening up the start menu. And you want to type in device manager. Best manager comes up should say device manager directly above control panel. You want to left click on that to open it up. So now that we're underneath device manager, you want to go to universal serial bus controllers down here, should be near the bottom, USB, universal serial bus, and you want to expand that right there. So you want to right click on the universal serial bus controllers, the first option here, and scan for hardware changes. And now if you happen to notice that there is a USB device specifically labeled here that you are aware of, then you can go through it like that. However, I recommend going through the generic USB hubs first for what I'm about to show you guys. And that would be to right click on the USB hub and then left click for update driver software. You want to search automatically for updated driver software. And if that does not produce any results, we can close out of here. Go back in and right click on the USB hub again. Left click on update driver software. Then select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. And then select Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. You might have multiple listings in here. You don't have to just go with the first one. And then you want to select Next. This is a way you can manually download it as well. And you can say Windows has finished installing the driver software for this device. You're more than welcome to do that for the other drives as well. I'm going to close out of here. And there's always a chance that your USB port has been physically damaged in which no troubleshooting tutorial is going to be able to help you with. But for most people, this solution should help definitely and I hope it does work in your case as well. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial did help you guys out. And as always, I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.